Now, Nook of the North, Bachelor Daddy and Foolish Wives were popular movies that came out in 1922, the same year a small African-American-owned theater opened in Ardmore. It closed 20 years later, but as Galen Culver tells us, it's now an important landmark of black history in Carter County. We can go on in if you want. No matter how many times he walks through these doors, Reverend Lee White is reminded of his church's history. I have a lot of people bring it to my attention. The echoes of East Main Street, Ardmore's black downtown, penetrate through the red bricks of one of Oklahoma's first black-owned movie theaters. Do you ever think what it would have been like to have to attend a movie in oh, here? Yeah, many times. I bet it would have been really, really neat. White was just a kid when he first walked in here for a church service. It wasn't until he was a pastor himself and had this view from the pulpit that he fully realized the building's original purpose. You look down, you can see how it could have been when there's a movie house, how that uh -huh. might have felt and sitting in here watching. Segregation predates Oklahoma's earliest movie houses, theaters like the Dreamland in Tulsa's Greenwood District and the Jewel in Oklahoma City's Deep Deuce thrived, as did black theaters across the country because they offered open seating to their patrons. Mostly movies about uh, cowboys. And John Bailey grew up in Ardmore and spent close to 35 years in law enforcement, but from his front porch in Midwest City, some of his fondest memories are of the Jewel Theater in Ardmore where he sold popcorn. And my other friend Bobby, Joe Williams, he uh, ran the movie projector. The place just about every one of his neighbors preferred to the Tivoli across the tracks. If they wanted to go what we uh, identified as uptown, they had to go upstairs and sit on the second floor. The greater love Victory Temple now reads the marquee. Little is left that's original, the pressed tin ceiling, the balcony rails, and some old wiring. Reverend White is happy to be here holding church every Sunday, though. We have a great time on Sunday, jubilistic time. I mean, praise and worship. It is a building of note as a symbol of a banished time. Now it's God's house and going strong. In Ardmore, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Oh, how cool is that? The theater turned church has been on the National Historic Register since 1984.